What's up guys, it's BD here and welcome to my top 5 gaming mouse pads for early 2020. Now mouse pads can be one of the most personal things that a person can buy for their setup. Whether you're going for aesthetics or performance, the choice is really up to you. Over the past few years I've tested so many mouse pads and I'm here to give you guys a comprehensive list of my top 5. Now this isn't going to be a full review on each one of these mouse pads, but instead a quick overview of a lot of the features that I think are important or could be important to you. So starting off with number five on the list we have the glide 38 now this is a hybrid pad it's a cloth slash silicone pad it's water resistant it has heat molded edges so it's very comfortable on your arm and it lives up to its name the glide 38 by having amazing glide for tracking the stopping power on it is a little less than the other ones on the list so you really need to have control over your mouse before you think about getting one of these glide 38s but once you get used to it this is one of the best mouse pads I've ever tried and it's really near and dear to my heart. Now, honorable mention would be the Aorus Amp 500, which is a thinner version of this mouse pad and they come in smaller sizes as well. Now, coming in at number four, we have the X-Ray Pad Thor Pad. Now, this is a very unique pad. It's a fast cloth pad which you don't see too often and that's due to its coating which makes this ultra fast and slick but it also gives you a lot of stopping power as well due to it being cloth still it has one of the best prices if you're on a budget and it's customizable so you can put any design that you want on this mouse pad and they come out gorgeous x-ray pad really does a great job with translating the image that you want onto your pad. So if you want amazing tracking with a little bit better stopping power than the Glide 38, the Thor pad is the way to go. An honorable mention would be the slow version or the control version of this pad, the Equate pad. Coming in at number three, it is the Artisan Zero. Now this is the most durable Artisan pad that I found over the past year or so. It's like a QCK on crack. So if you wanna upgrade, if you're looking for the next upgrade to like a QCK, let's say you love it, but you want something a little bit more durable or a little bit faster or a better glide, the Artisan Zero is the way to go. It has great stopping power for flicks and tracking is amazing because of its smaller weave and it doesn't slow down. Over the past year that I've used it, the consistency the speed everything has stayed the same it comes in different softnesses so you have like a soft and a mid I like the soft with this pad and they're really big mouse pads the XL is huge now honorable mention is the artisan Raiden which is one of my favorite pads it didn't make the list because it does make some sensor spin out so I can't fully recommend it but if you have a sensor that can handle that mouse pad it is one of the best on the market especially if you want something that is just speed with a little to no stopping power now before we end off with the top two mouse pads i want to tell you guys a little bit about today's sponsor skillshare it's an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills with a premium membership it gives you unlimited access to join the perfect community to get the skills you need to become successful Successful in your field. Me personally, I've used a few classes in the past and I'm actually taking one right now from Thomas Frank on mastering habits and just being organized overall. And I've also taken some editing classes to improve my editing for this channel. So they have a wide variety of things for you guys to choose from. Whatever field or interest you have, they probably have a class on it. Now it's extremely affordable at $10 a month for the annual subscription. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up with the link in the description and get a two month free trial for the first 500 people that sign up you guys can sign up and make 2020 your year now moving on to the number two mouse pad we have the cooler master mp510 now this is a mouse pad that really took me by surprise this past year now i thought it was going to be as fast as like an asus scabbard but it's really not it uses the same material but the weave is so big that it kind of slows down the pad this pad is right smack dab in the middle it's a jack of all trades which makes it incredible for tracking and for flick shots this is one mouse pad that i keep keep coming back to time and time and again and I think it actually has become my most used mouse pad of anything out right now. Now the main selling point is that this mouse pad is super durable. It takes a licking and keeps on ticking. This thing can really take a beating and not slow down whatsoever. Now because of this it is going to be a little bit rougher so it will irritate your arm a little bit but you get used to it. It's not really an issue. When I first got this mouse pad it really irked me but now I don't mind it so much. Now an honorable mention would be the faster version of this pad, which is the Asus Scabbard. It has a smaller weave, it's really fast, but the logo, 
it's just too obnoxious in my opinion okay and at number one we have the gsrse from zowie now this has to be one of the most popular mouse pads on the market right now they have their gsrse series and then they also have their davina series and this thing you're gonna see it everywhere it's like a more comfortable version of the mp510 is right in the middle in terms of speed you're gonna have that gliding for tracking and you're gonna have some stopping power for flick shots there's no stitching around the edges so it's really comfortable on your arm also the rubber base is really thick so it's very comfortable on your wrist you're not actually going to be feeling the bottom of your desk when you're uh, swiping around another selling point of this mouse pad is that it's easily washed now it will slow down over time, but all you have to do is follow my how to clean a mouse pad video, shameless plug, and you can get it back to feeling like the day that you got it. Well, maybe not completely, but it'll be close enough. Now some honorable mentions are the Black GSR, which is another pad that I heavily use. It is a very controlled pad. If you just want to feel like you're in mud, that is the one to go to. Another honorable mention that I have to mention before we get out of here is that glorious XXXL or the XL or the XXL, whichever one you want to go with. That's another goaded pad in my opinion, and it's right smack dab in the middle, similar to the GSR SE. But when people ask me which one to get between the two, my answer is always the GSRSE. All right, guys, it has been your boy BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.